Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. So, let's go ahead and head this way. Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. <laughs> This is the best song in here. All right, so let me let me get back on track. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Until I know I said it already, but let me get for real this time. We're up against Muffet, the Spider Queen herself. Well, I don't know if she's a queen or not, but she's a Spider Bake Sale lady. God, her music's so catchy. But yeah, we're trapped in her spider web. We can choose to either A, pay her money to, you know, make her attacks chill, or we struggle against it. Now, if you are... Oh, no, did I forget it? Oh, my God, I forgot it. Okay, so you remember the spider donut that I bought a while back? Yeah, you could use that here. I need the spider items that you purchased. And you can actually skip this fight. The struggle to escape the web. Well, they cover some mouth and giggles at you. Oh, don't so my Hey, 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 hey. Ah, the music melts. I think purple is a better look on me. <laughs> You're trapped in a strange purple web. Up next, spiders. Me three. You struggle to escape the web. Muff it laughs and claps her hands. Why so pale? You should be proud. Spider frog. Up next, more spiders. Muffet pours you a couple spiders. Delicious. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. Proud that you're gonna be delicious cake. Up next, double spiders. Muffet pours you a couple spiders. I'm gonna keep struggling until you let me out. Nothing happens. Let you go. Up next, Muffet does a synchronized dance with the spiders. Hey, hey. He has such a sweet 
Jesus. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Stop with the spider or the croissant. Spider baby. Smells like freshly baked poplars. Up next, more croissants. You pay 5G. How can you reduce your attack for this turn? It's strange, but I swear I saw it in the shadow. Can you shake? Hey, whoa. I love the fresh baked bread as much as the next guy. Chill. Muffet pulls you up the spiders. Struggle to escape the what? Nothing happened. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? You never have to feed my pet. Oh, Wardy. Wardy. No. Can you slow down, please? <laughs> I flew right into it. Okay, whatever. Uh, it cannot end now. A two stay determined. Mm, if I die a third time, I'm gonna do it two more times. If I die a third time, you'll just see me skip ahead with uh whatchamacallit? Um, the spider donut trick. Yep, you heard nada. A certain stingy human hates spiders. Nope. Oh, don't so look so blue, my dear. Attack 38.8, defense 18.8. If she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. My silk hair, you should be proud. Ah, not this time, Muppet. Tidies up the webs. Bubble. Double spike. That, 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 that. Chill, 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 chill. <gasps> oh, it didn't count. Oh, my God. God. Yep, there's nothing close about you. Ooh, ooh. Well, come on. I had some garbage. Hey, get that croissant out of here. Smells like freshly baked croissant. Actually, cobwebs. Spider croissant. Ooh. Ooh. Eee, I want it. Come back. I'm hungry. Come back. Alright, I'll pay her 5G here. She's a chill. Gamer, wee, 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 wee. Ow. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Whoa, chill. Ow. Rude. Up next, boobs. I wish, but it's not. It's just death. Ow. This 
go down there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Up next, double croissant. Oh god, I'm just gonna run to the limo full of spiders. Oh no, I'd hate to be that limo driver. Whoa! Nice try, Muffet. Huh? Excuse me? You can't be throwing your whole bake sale at me, that's not fair! And with all the leftovers, you can have a nice vacation. Or you can go to the spider baseball field. Okay. A couple spiders. I think I should be okay. Enough of that. It's time for dinner. <laughs> oh god. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Okay, I might have bitten off more than I could chew here. Oh god. Okay. Spider cake. Leave me alone, spider cake. Give me an opening, please! Bye, Muffet. Oh god, your eyes. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Aw, oh, Muffet. You're adorable. Favorite song, well, one of the favorite songs in the game, for me. That's like, easily top three. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love. And unlike Claptrap, you can descend stairs. I kind of want to see a ship between Metaton and Clappy now. I don't know why. That's a thing. Oh god. Please run away. Please run away. Monster King. Oh, wow, you're... Forbids your stay. Hold on, let me see. Humans must live far apart. If... Okay, so this does fit. Okay, so all the words do fit. Oh, I can't leave. Maybe it'll suck. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Hey. Well, toodles. Hey, wait a minute. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, not that again. Oh, heaven's mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. 
Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Oh, fudge. You'll be incinerated by the jets of fire. <laughs> ha! My poor love. I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Just let me go. Oh, dear God. This hurts my soul. There's no way. Oh my God. Me. Ow. Please let me through. Please. Not fudge. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. No, 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 please. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. <coughs> Watch out. I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. The, the firewall. I'm done. I'm walking out of this room. I'm done. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Th that's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, fudge. Um, I can't read this. I have no help. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Astro food, please save me. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Oh. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed in your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the phone's act menu and press it. Hello? I press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Mesma. Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow! I'm yellow now. Now press Z! Pew, 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 pew. Ooh, ooh, you've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. Um. L looks like you beat him. Y you really did a good job out there. All thanks to you. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh no, I mean, y you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some sweet programs for your phone. Um, <laughs> hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I d didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. But... Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost at the core. Just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Oh, so I wasn't even that far. Oh, come on. <gasps> Mr. Nice Cream, I need it. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. Oh, no. I've actually sold out of everything. Fudge. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? You're useless to me. Oh, hey. We're like... Taking a rain check on killing the thing. 
like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Aww. Hey, hey! You remember my name? What? You remember? How can I be so easily defeated? He's broken. I'll always remember that you remember. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot your name already, but I'm just pretend like I did. Ah, this is another fun thing. Hey, Senzi. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Um... Hey, check it out! <laughs> yeah, check it! Uh, junk food. You should buy all our stuff! Yo, 17 HP. That's a big bite up. An empty gun. Bullets not included. Cowboy hat. Attack up when worn. History. Probably someone's house. So, like, what's up? <laughs> I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. And the stuff inside is, like, totally wicked and expensive. But, like, this is stuff to be, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. Ah. How about the origin wars? I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it all in the garbage! <laughs> it's good garbage! It's like really good garbage! Origin of garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. <laughs> Waterfall, mostly. I found the gun in a dumpster! Yikes. Oh my god, Metaton. Metaton! He's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. We're both like already married to him. He just like doesn't know it yet. So like Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But like Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. But even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. <laughs> yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever! Um, old? Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I already did this one. Okay. Oh my god, Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting those weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. Royal scientist. So, Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul? That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do so as a science to form. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl? <laughs> yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that. He's like so nice. God, we're like, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Oh god. Alright, thanks nerds. Like, see you later. Like, later and stuff. I gave them so many different voices in that like span of five minutes. Uh, is there anything back here? It's just a regular wall. Okay.
Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner first? Yeah, let's go. Great, thanks for treating me. Hey, wait a minute. I say that. Over here, I know a shortcut. It's a regular wall. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, brother. Though, maybe sometimes it's just better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dish is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in over a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. And then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Oh, my God. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. Sans, you're a furry! We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky with all this bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing, though. Telling bad jokes through the door, it rules. she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. You get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her? You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up. I'm just joking with you. Besides, I haven't done a great job protecting you. I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Lies! Hey, what's that supposed to look? <laughs> what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Sorry if you guys hear that buzzing in the background. Seems like they're cutting the lawn outside. That's fun. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Sans, where are you going? Sans, I have questions. Sans? Sansy! As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Okay. I'm just gonna leave the strange orange nipple man alone. We're just... Oh, hey. Just gonna... We're just gonna head right on out of here. Alright, guys. We're gonna leave this episode off here. 
and the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. Yes, it does. But we're going to leave this episode off here, and we will go ahead and take care of the rest of this hotel in the next episode. If you liked today's episode, guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. That way, whenever I drop a brand new episode, you guys are already up to date. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.